Evolutionists claim that the Earth and the universe are millions and billions of years old. The Bible tells us that it is 6,000 years old. Now, if evolutionists were telling the truth about the age of the Earth, please tell me where are all the meteorites? You see, today, meteorites are falling. Evolutionists claim that these layers we see in the ground are a slow and gradual accumulation of one wet mud layer laid down upon another. Really speaks of a flood, but, but nonetheless, um, well, they say that this is accumulation of layers over a long period of time. And meteorites are falling on a regular basis today. Now, if these layers were, in fact, slow and gradual accumulation, then one would expect to find meteorites buried in the fossil bearing layers from top to bottom throughout the entire structure. But what's the problem? The problem is this. There are, in fact, about 600 significant meteorites that hit the Earth each year. Now, on average, of course, 70% are going to hit water and be lost, but 30% on average will hit dry ground and be preserved. Now, if the rock layers covering the Earth really were 600 million years old, as evolutionists claim, there should be, by simple mathematics, 108 billion meteorites embedded in the fossil bearing layers, buried with the dinosaurs. But of course, the problem is, Meteorites are incredibly rare to find in fossil-bearing rocks. This proves that the dinosaurs and all the other fossils we find on the ground are not the result of slow, gradual accumulation over millions and billions of years, but are in fact uh, the result of a one-year-long worldwide flood burying all of these creatures at one time, turning into fossils. And the lack of meteorites, of course, is because it only took one year. And so the lack of meteorites in the ground shows us that the Bible is telling the truth about the age of the earth being only 6,000 years old.